Hi, in this video we will be discussing about the skills needed for data analyst and data scientist roles. The reason for making one video to discuss both data analyst and data scientist roles is because there are a lot of things in common between these two roles. Data analyst does a lot of descriptive analytics. On the other hand, data scientist also does descriptive analytics, but also data scientist do something called predictive analytics. So let's try to understand what descriptive and predictive analytics mean. Descriptive analytics is all about analyzing the historical data to answer this particular question, which is what has happened till now. Predictive analytics also involves analysis of historical data, but predictive analytics is mainly all about answering the question, which is what will happen in the future. Let's understand this with a simple example. I have sales data of XYZ company in a table format. As part of descriptive analytics, we can simply create a scatter chart so that we can quickly understand how the company has been performing in terms of sales in the previous years. Now let's look at predictive analytics. So now that we know how the company has been performing in the previous years, can we predict what's going to happen uh, to the sales in coming years? So will the sales increase or decrease or does it remain the same? If we are able to answer these questions, then it is called as predictive analytics. So coming back to the comparison of data analyst and data scientist roles, now that we know the now that we have some idea about the differences between these two roles, let's now look at some of the skills needed for each of these two roles. Data analysts should be good with math, math and statistics. They should be good with handling the data. So this includes knowledge of ETL or extract, transform and load operations on data and experience working with popular data ETL tools such as Informatica Power Center, IBM Infosphere Information Server, Altrix, Microsoft SQL Server Integration Services or SSIS, Talent Open Studio, SAS Data Integration Studio, SAP Business Objects Data Integrator, ClickView Expressor or any other popular ETL tool. They should be comfortable in handling data from different sources and in different formats such as text, CSV, TSV, Excel, JSON, RDBMS and other popular formats. They should have excellent knowledge of SQL or structured query language. It's a bonus to have the knowledge of big data tools and technologies to handle large datasets. No SQL databases such as HBase, Cassandra and MongoDB. They should be expert in analyzing and visualizing the data. They should have experience working with popular data analysis and visualization packages in Python and R such as NumPy, SciPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, ggplot and others. Experience with popular data analysis and visualization BI tools such as Tableau, Microsoft Power BI, SAP BI, SAS BI, Oracle BI, ClickView or any other popular BI tool. They should have good communication and storytelling skills. Let's now look at the skills needed for data scientist role. Data scientist also does descriptive analytics just like data analyst. Apart from that, they also do predictive analytics. So as part of descriptive analytics, data scientists should be excellent with math and statistics. Data scientists should, should be good with uh, handling the data. So yes, they should have experience working with popular ETL frameworks. They should have excellent knowledge of SQL. Many companies expect data scientists to have mandatory knowledge of big data tools and technologies to work with large data sets and also to work with structured, semi-structured and unstructured data. It's good to have the knowledge of NoSQL databases such as HBase, Cassandra and MongoDB. They should be expert in analyzing and visualizing the data. Experience working with popular data analysis and visualization packages in Python and R. Experience with popular data analysis and visualization BI tools such as Tableau, Microsoft Power BI, SAP BI, SAS BI. Oracle BI, ClickView or any other popular BI tool. 
they should also have excellent communication and storytelling skills and as part of predictive analytics they should be good in using the techniques in artificial intelligence data mining machine learning and statistical modeling to make future predictions using the historical data exposure to popular predictive analytics tools such as sap predictive analytics mini tab sas predictive analytics altrix analytics ibm predictive analytics or any other popular predictive analytics tool they should have very good exposure to popular machine learning and deep learning packages available for python and r such as scikit-learn tensorflow piano r part caret random forest nnet and other popular libraries <laughs>